So, why are contracts a good thing? Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Creative Exploration series. Now, first of all, let me get this out of the way. I am not a lawyer, and this is not legal advice. This is just an explanation as to why I like contracts and why I think that they're a valuable asset to any creative person. If you do want help building a contract or understanding a contract, I suggest going to a lawyer or somebody qualified to do so. Okay, so with that out of the way, I feel that contracts get a very, very bad rap. I think that when you're handed a contract, you often feel mistrust or that you're about to get like screwed over and often contracts are hard to read and they're very long and they're just uninteresting. And if you feel this way, I want to try to change your thoughts on this because I feel that really the large corporations have those like 30 page long contracts and stuff and yeah, those suck. But contracts as an idea are is so important. So if you're a creator who's starting to try to make money off of their work, it's very, very highly recommended that you start working with contracts. And while this may sound scary initially, even a very simple contract can go a very, very long way in the long run when you're working with other people. A contract isn't about mistrust or taking advantage of somebody else. At its core, a contract is simply an agreement to do work for somebody else for some reciprocation, usually money. And the, the valuable part of setting up a contract is that allows everybody to get all of their expectations down on paper. You're allowed to work on licensing to make see if it's like an exclusive license or a non-exclusive license. You can work out usage rights, like where you can use it, where you can't use it. You can work out like distribution or modifications in the future or any extra fees that might happen if uh, the, the payer is late or the artist is late or any of this other stuff. It's very, very important to have all of this out on paper and agreed to before you actually start working on a project because if something goes wrong, and not it doesn't always go wrong, but if something goes wrong, you can refer back to that piece of paper that everybody agreed to as uh, basically guidelines as to what you should do and who should pay who and just kind of, you, you already have all of these rules for the project in place, so you don't have to, uh, start fighting about it halfway through a project because halfway through a project people are already very invested in the project and there's already money in the project and everybody's going to fight a lot harder when so much is already invested in there but if you have all of this out of the way and agreed to already there's no discussion on it you just follow the rules or the penalties or whatever is dictated in the contract and you just move on with the project now a lot of people think the contracts have to be in this crazy complicated legalese and for large corporations, that might be the case. But in my experience, when I've been working with other people, I've found that it's just, it's easy to use plain English. And really, the, like I said, the contract is an agreement between people in this case. And often, if people come to a mutual compromise inside of that contract, that's really all you need. You need to find that place of agreement. Now, it's important to keep in mind that a contract is not really solid until it is signed. There's always back and forth and trying to figure out the exact extent of the contract and what exactly it entails. And I feel that it's important to remember that even though you find a template online or you use a template, that it's worth adding or removing things if it fits the project. So I've had contracts that are a half a page long and I've had contracts that are probably like six or seven pages. Everybody's different. Everybody works at a different level when it comes to like trust and understanding all of the minutia in the project. And I think that it's valuable to understand contracts on a more personal level and not to get um, overwhelmed when you see a contract, to be able to sit down and understand at least at a base level what's going on. And seriously, if you have questions about the contract, you need to ask them for specifics because that can really bite you in the ass later. If you don't understand something, but you still agree to it, that can cause problems later on. So do you have any contract experience or any additional info or advice on contracts? I'll be reading and responding to your comments below. Also, the Creative Exploration series has seen a lot of new viewers lately, and thank you guys so much for sticking around and uh, checking out some new episodes. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far, and if you like it, uh, consider sending out some of these videos to your friends and help spreading the word, because I'd really love for this series to grow even bigger. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.
be remarkable. Also, another thank you to these amazing top-tier Patreon subscribers. This series would not be the same without you.